limits and many mishaps taking you through this day by day. I'm so grateful because God has given us another chance to be here to share about the heart of the Father. So today we are going to talk about the brevity, the brevity of life. The brevity of life. Oh, how life is so short, you see. If there is one thought that scares me a lot, is that one day, one day, it might be 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now. I don't want to imagine, but I'm so sure that 100 years from now, I'll be somewhere, either before God, away from his presence. But if there is one thing that shakes me to the bone, to the core, is the fact that I'll have to give an account of everything, literally everything, the words that I speak, the thoughts, you see, everything. Recently I was going through the book of Psalms, Psalms 90, 90, so rich, Psalms 90 verse 10, 11, 12. Let's start from verse 9, 11, 10, 10, you see 12, 13. And the Bible talks about this psalmist asking God to always remind him of the number of his days so that he can live with a heart of wisdom. That has been my prayer all through. I don't want to be caught unaware. I want to be eternally conscious. As I go through this life, as I go through this journey, as I walk through this pilgrimage, I want to be eternity conscious. I want God to give me that grace to live with the light of eternity. And that has always been my prayer. God, please stamp eternity on my eyeballs so that I can live with a heart of wisdom. Stamp eternity on my eyeballs so that I can live in the land of eternity. So that is so, um, see, such an awakening. But the big question is this What are you doing with your life? Are the things you're living for today, will they be worth something a hundred years? Looking back, what would you say? What the things you're living for, worth living for? Will you look back and say, you see, God, I'm glad that I lived the life I lived. Are you trying to develop peace with God? Are you developing a relationship with God? You see, my friend, when you talk about eternity, we're not talking about going to church here. I want you to get me clearly on this. It's not about church. It's about developing a relationship with Jesus. You have to cultivate a relationship with the Father. It must be from your heart. You must have a heart conversation, a heart change. There must be that living, active, conscious relationship that there is God and that He knows you and you have to know Him before you, before this, this chapter is closed. You see, yeah, if you read the same same um, Psalms 90, it says that by reason of strength, uh, the maximum number of years that a person can enjoy as a result of strength is 80 years. You see, the life of a person is so brief. Remember when you started your journey, you see the years are passing so quickly. But the fact, the truth that still remains, that still stands, that each and every year as you add to the number of years, you're getting closer to the grave, you're getting closer to the Lord, you see, greeting Jesus every day. So the question is, each and every day that comes, are you making your life count for Christ? Are you making something? that is the word. Life is so short. Life is so short. You don't promise to do more. That is the truth. And you only have this chance to make things right today. As we speak today, maybe you are listening to me or watching
watching me. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of just making things right. Having peace with God. Developing a relationship with Him. That is it. There is no any other day. Don't burn on a deathbed repentance. Don't say, I'll receive Christ when I'm on my deathbed. I'll receive Christ when I'm dying. Shalom, shalom.